20. What changes occur to the atomic number and the mass of a nucleus during each of the following decay scenarios? And then we have a gamma ray is being emitted. So gamma radiation is emitted. Now, just know that this Y, this is the Greek letter for gamma. So we're talking about gamma rays. One of the most powerful types of radiation out there. Now, if it's being emitted, right, that means that this is undergoing emission. And any type of emission means that basically that particle or that radiation is being ejected into the environment. So it came off of the uh, you know radioactive substance and into the environment. So that means that whatever you're talking about, in this case radiation, or if, if it's dealing with the particle, that's going to be in the products. So since we are talking about that the gamma ray is being emitted, we know that if we were talking about, you know, a balanced equation, that gamma ray has to be on the product side. Now let's write it in nucleide notation, which is the three boxes here, right? So we'll do gamma ray, y ray, gamma ray. Now gamma ray is that y, right? But just know that this is a form of radiation. This isn't a particle. So that means that there's no atomic number and no atomic mass. It is not a particle. And if you are emitting something that is not even a particle, you have no mass, no, um, you know, mass, no mass, no atomic number. Is there really going to be any change between the starting material and the ending material? Yeah, absolutely not, right? If you had a radioactive substance, and if you hear that, if you hear a helicopter in the background, it is just my dog breathing. We just went out for a walk. So if you hear a... That's my dog. <laughs> He's a cutie pie. He says hello. But anyway, is there going to be any change? Well, let's just make sure, right? We'll do carbon, um, 14, carbon 14 is generally the radioactive substance and carbon always has an atomic number of six. So the atomic mass is always the number that goes on the top and the atomic number is always the number that goes on the bottom. But if you're not adding anything and this side has to equal 14, we know that this has to be a 14. And if it's six, and you're adding nothing here, this has to be a six. The only way to differentiate radioactive with something that's not really as radioactive is using a star for gamma radiation. So generally with gamma radiation, you'll put a star for the more radioactive substance, and then it's a calmed down version. But as far as the answer, what changes occur to the atomic number and the mass? There are absolutely no changes. No changes to atomic number and atomic mass. Scary. Hey, okay, so let's move that over there. Let's box this answer off. And that's the video. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, let me know in the comments if this helped you out or not. Love talking to you guys in my spare time. Um, in the meantime, we got tons more videos coming out to you this school semester. Um, it is September as I'm filming this video, so happy beginning of a new school year. We also just started memberships on the channel. If you guys wanted to become a member, not obligated, not mandatory, but if you want to help us out a little bit more, we can get so much more out to you guys um, by you becoming a member. There's four different tiers, so you could check it out if you want. Um, but thank you so much for considering, and I hope you have a great day, okay? Keep studying hard. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.